Hello my loves, welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria, if we're meeting for the first time, I'm a professional astrologer, I'm a tarot reader, and I'm an intuitive and a practicing witch. For those of you guys that are old friends and family to the YouTube channel, welcome back. It feels so good to vibe with you once again. I don't know what the mood is today outside of goth because that is what I'm feeling this afternoon. So I'm just going to be vibing with that as we are diving into the details of this new moon that's happening in the sign of Capricorn, December 23rd. There is so much that I want to share with you guys that I find significant and very magical about this new moon. So let's not wait any longer. Let's just go ahead and dive right in. Welcome to Bahati Life YouTube channel featuring Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. This is your source for authentic tarot and astrology, magic and manifestation. So first things first, as I mentioned at the very start of this video, this new moon is happening in a sign of Capricorn. Now I don't know about you, but this year, this the entirety of this year has been quite a bit of a doozy, um, to put it mildly. And this is because a lot of the energy of Pluto ruling transformation has been transiting through the sign of Capricorn, creating major transition, transformation, rebirth, and the breaking down of the things that have kept us confined, controlled, manipulated, and stifled in a lot of ways. As this new moon is happening in the sign of Capricorn, this ends up opening up a whole new door when it comes to the same areas in our life that we feel like we've had our backs against the wall in. What I would love to see you do is pull your own astrological chart and see what Capricorn energy rules within your, within your chart. For me, it's my seventh house of relationships. Look to see one degree, two degree um, uh, in the sign of Capricorn to see where this energy is going to be felt the strongest, the hardest. This is where you're going to see that door opening up. For those of you guys that don't know, new moons do bring in new energy. It's this blank slate that is open to whatever intentions that is that we want to manifest within our lives. So not only does the universe usher in the potential, the opportunity for fresh energy, but you can also input your own seeds of intention of things that is that you want to manifest. Like I said a few minutes ago, don't forget that Pluto, the planet of transformation and death and rebirth has been moving through the sign of Capricorn actively working to break down everything that Capricorn rules. This means that it's working with our karma, it's destroying and changing our karma, it's changing long-term contracts and commitments, it's changing business and government, and those big um, established rights and rules and things that we, how we get regulated here on earth or in our society, these things have been actively changed radically because of uh, Pluto's transit through the sign of Capricorn. So in your own personal life, you may have had to experience and live through and grow up in um, a lot of personal transformation and whatever Capricorn rules within your chart. Let me know down in the comments what Capricorn rules within your chart. But like I said, for me personally, it's been in my seventh house, which has taught me a lot about myself and what I believe and what I look for in certain relationships or marriage partners and, and go through and live through those certain karmas so that I could go through those experiences, grow from those experiences and actually have something that has more potential for the long haul that's more solid and more stable. So that's me using myself as an example. Again, I want to hear where this is falling, this new moon is falling falling within your within your life, within your chart. Let me know down in the comments so that we can get this conversation going. However, like I said, Pluto has already done so many um, damage, good damage, but damage nonetheless, to the area in our chart that Capricorn rules. Again, it's the same area that you I don't want to say that you wanted to feel um, safety and stability in because honestly, that's more Taurian, like the energy of Taurus, where Uranus is totally radical, like creating radical changes in that area of your life. 
Um, Capricorn is ultimately kind of like what is it you become accustomed to and where you know you're going to like if you show up here you already know what to expect because the changes here don't happen overnight they've been generationally things that is that you can expect um not only in your external world but in your internal world so this might have to this might deal with um certain karma um relationship or not relationship i'm using myself as an example again but um certain lessons how they uh play out again and again in your family relationships um, because again, this is karma or certain um, things that you are working to break, like generational curses and those types of things. So not only is this going to be generational curses, but this is the way of the world, how we expect the world to show up and how the world expects us to show up. This sense of obligation and duty, Capricorn absolutely rules those energies. Having said that, you guys, I do want to say that um, this is not like a full moon. Full moons bring everything up to the surface. It can be really loud, noisy, quick, chaotic. This new moon is more quiet in nature and you get to really plant your seed as far as what you see and want for yourself and what you want to grow when it comes to Capricorn energy, when it comes to business, when it comes to money, when it comes to your foundation, when it comes to your karma. You've already learned the major lessons, and now at the time of this new moon, not, not only have you closed out that major lesson, but you get to start a new lesson. You get to start a new cycle. That's the other thing, too, that I want to talk to you guys about is at the time of this new moon, Jupiter is entering into the sign of Aries. Aries is the start of the zodiac. Um, it is the, the leader of the zodiac, and Jupiter is the, the great benefactor, the planet that rules abundance and uh, effortless growth and expansion and, and higher wisdom and higher knowledge. Jupiter is exiting out of the sign of Pisces, which was amazing and magical at the very start of a transit. But as with anything, over time, it can get kind of like old and played out. With Pisces um, energy or Jupiter and Pisces transit, there have been many blessings, especially when it comes to spiritual community, when it comes to psychological healing, when it comes to connecting with unconditional love and learning about yourself and boundaries and connecting with the divine and connecting with the universe and all those things. It's been amazing. But at the same time, it's been very deceptive. It's created a lot of cloud and fog around, around you, your energy, and it's taught you a lot, but mostly through those lessons. So when we take both of those things that have been happening up thus far, and we look at this new moon, and we look at how the Jupiter, the, this great ben benefactor, is now entering in the sign of Aries, we have an opportunity for new growth even more. We have an opportunity for new blessing even more. We have an opportunity where we ourselves, we feel the, the blessing, we feel the growth within ourselves when it comes to, okay, this is where I want to show up as a leader. This is where I want to show up as an advocate. This is the new chapter and the fresh energy that I want to infuse in my life. One major thing that this new moon is going to give you is a total fresh blank slate. Regardless if you're 96, if you're 14 years old, if you're 89 or if you're 43 or 34, it doesn't matter. The way that these planets are working is is with time. You know, the time that is that we're, we're in right now and age ain't nothing but a number at the end of the day. Like, how does your energy play out in this moment in time? So you get to have the chance and the opportunity again at this new moon to start over fresh and start over with a, a blank slate, but not totally blank because again, you've, you're, you're able to take the lessons that you've already learned from Pluto's transits through the sign of Capricorn that's getting reactivated with this new moon that's happening in the sign of Capricorn, you can take all of the lessons and all of the maturity and all of who you are now, strong, stable, secure, a person who can go through the thick of it and not waver. As, as difficult as these transits have been for all of us, if you really take a step back and look at it, you're not going to be shook up by what other people say or um, certain things that would have crippled you or tripped you up in the past. You can see it for what it is because you've lived through it already. You have that experience, you have that growth, you have that mental, emotional, um, spiritual and physical maturity that as soon as you see the problem or as soon as you see that this isn't, isn't gonna work out, 
or as soon as you see that there's something they right, you already know, okay, I, this is this is not for me. This is not a fit. This is not a match. This is not a high vibe. And for that reason, you become strong in your steps and you move forward. Jupiter then transiting through the sign of Aries, the very first of the zodiac sign, says, okay, come this way. Come, we're going. We're going forward. There's so much ahead of us. There's so much um, to advance to. There's so many things to experience. There's so many places to be. There's so many things to see and do. And also, on top of that, on top to make this new moon even more magical is we have Chiron who's been retrograde since forever. Chiron the wounded healer is also now moving direct in the sign of Aries which says that again all of the um, the ways that you have poured out into the world it has already served and you don't have to show up in the same way that you have in the past. Now it's like all of those blessings and, and that self growth and those lessons the, the 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 blessing of the lesson falls at your feet and falls in in your hands. So what do I recommend that you do with this new moon? I recommend that you set the intention for a, a new foundation, a new firm foundation based upon what you've already learned. For some of you guys, you've learned that certain people or certain things are your kryptonite. Don't manifest those types of energies in your life anymore. Don't repeat those same paths patterns and, and cycles. This is the part in your life and your journey where we can actually have a fresh blank start right before the new year begins because the energy actually is ready to, um, you know, start fresh and start new now. If we take a look, one last thing, if we take a look and by taking a step back, we have Saturn, which naturally rules Capricorn energy. The natural ruler of Capricorn is transiting through the sign of Aquarius. Aquarius loves to think about the future. It loves to think about the great beyond and the endless potential and possibilities and how we can help humanity because it has this great vision and, and it has this hope to make this world a better place and make your world a better place for you. So tap into those energies of hope and enthusiasm and optimism and groundbreaking energy to strike free and to strike strike out of your current boxes and current limitations. For some of you guys in your physical life, like in your actual tangible, you're going to feel the need to ser seriously cut yourself free from old obligations. This is where you launch yourself into new businesses, where you launch yourself into new projects. You decide to move across the world. You decide, whatever it is, fill in the blank. It's a fresh start. It's something totally like new to you, totally foreign to you, but something that you've been called to do for yourself for a long time. It doesn't have to be so drastic as moving across the world. It could be kind of similar to what I did earlier today. I picked up a, a Sharpie pen. You guys know how much I love Sharpie pens, the fine point. I picked up one of those Sharpie fine point pens and I started doodling again. As silly as that sounds, I was, drawing used to be like my anchor back in the day. It used to be my, my anchor back in the day. Like literally, it was that thing where I could just draw all day, all night. I loved it. I loved it. I was so good at it. And for whatever reason, you know, this is even before astrology. That's how you know this goes way back. Um, but I, I guess over time, I just forgot how to even hold a pen. So a part of me even had fear in picking up the pen and seeing myself fail at it. Something that I used to be so good at. I was so scared of trying it again because what if I failed? And what if I lost that talent? Or what if I lost the joy of it? Or what if the disappointment of how much I sucked took, the, took away the joy of me, something that, is that I used to love? So I picked up the pen and I just started doing a little scribble. And I felt so proud of myself, not for the quality of this girl, but for the fact that it is that I tried. And I share that example with you now because that really is the great metaphor. Saturn, uh, our Capricorn energy has taught us a lot about ourselves. In so many ways, we were forced to grow up or for, forced to accept certain responsibilities and obligations that required that were required of of us for our survival or for maintenance or whatever the case is and with this new moon you get to now take the lessons and take everything that you've learned um, from those past experiences and now go back or start fresh in a new direction and something that gives you joy that you can do this just for the sole pleasure of you doing this for you and no benefit to anyone else. 
um, that's just one way that you can use this this new moon but for everybody it's going to be different I really a hundred percent trust you and whatever it is that you're gonna be able to come up with because I believe that spirit speaks to us all the time and I believe that spirit sends signs all the time so just listen to those signs respect those signs and act on those signs again this new moon is gonna be happening December 23rd roughly around five o'clock in the morning but you don't have to be setting intention at five o'clock in the morning unless you want to it's totally up to you you can do it the night before or the night after or two nights after but if I would if I were you I would do it the night of December 23rd okay it's gonna be a Friday um, this is like Eastern Standard Time by the way having said that you guys if you need me you know where to find me I'm gonna be working my magic per use at bahadilife.com that's the apothecary the shop where I sell all of my candles my oils herbs powders resins all of those things can be found that's all authentic magic I've been practicing damn near all of my life um, so it's available for you and if you want tarot readings I'm not doing any personal tarot readings at the at this time so if you see anybody um, approaching you in the comments and saying listen um, I'm Bahati Life and I'm doing readings. It's not, it's a scam, but the closest thing that you can get to that is what I call Bahati Love Notes, Bahati Love Notes. And basically it's a $5 membership, $5 a month membership, and I shuffle and pull for those who are signed up for that um, offering where I shuffle and pull the tarot sit with my guides and my angels and channel messages and give it over to you right after I'm done um, vibing with that. Sometimes it's in the morning and sometimes it's at night, but one thing it always is, is a vibe. Until then, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope to see you in my next video. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss the next one. I'll see you later. Bye. Queen Bee Homestead Co. is the cozy home of Queen Bee Homestead Body Butters. Each butter is created with all natural ingredients, including rich shea butter, creamy coconut oil, fragrant rose water, herbs, and high vibrational essential oils. The butters are then whipped to a decadent perfection, which you can use to naturally moisturize and protect your skin from the harsh elements, including UV rays from the sun, and nourish and protect your hair. Explore the Small Homestead's website where you'll find all of the best-selling blends ranging from Energy Clearing Bad Vibe Shield, which features pure lavender and sage essential oils, to the Warm Honey Goddess Body Butter, which features cardamom and actual honey. Shipping is fast to our friends in the U.S. Queen Bee Homestead Co., your source for simplicity, purity, and intentionality in your beauty essentials.